Church at Home. I'm Katie. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited that you're here. I have a question. If you broke your arm, who would you have sign your cast? Your mom? Your brother? Your best friend? Your dog? I would totally have my dog sign it with a boop paw print. So cute. No matter who signs your cast, your arm's still gonna hurt, right? Whether it's your arm or your feelings or something else that gets hurt, Jesus is there for you when you're suffering. And that reminds us of our point. Let's say it together. Jesus is there to help you through. He's been through some hard times too. All right, now let's go to Connect to learn about worship. Does anybody have an awesome way that we can connect to God? Shout them out. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Here's another way that we can connect to Him, by singing songs. We can worship God by focusing our full attention on Him and telling Him how great He is. When we thank God for all that He's done for us, it really does bring us closer to Him. So let's get up on our feet and connect to God together.
brand new sound So get everybody talking Yeah We won't stop We won't wait We'll stand and sing I say God's name I say God's name Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out Jesus is alive right now Couldn't beat him, nothing could hold him down Our God conquered the grave So come on now, make it loud Everybody shout it out Jesus is alive, right now Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out Jesus is alive right now Whoa. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out Jesus is alive right now We won't stop project about fractions, ugh, I need to find a poster board. There's got to be one in here somewhere. Um, maybe in here. Ow, 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 ow. Mm, that hurt. This is going to be harder than I thought. Over with. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, I just need to get this out of here, and then I can get to work. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi. 
My name is Dot, and this is how I learned that Jesus is with us when we, ow, when we suffer. Ow, 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 ow. That was awful. Are you okay, Dot? Uh, hi, Harper. I'm just trying to carry all this, but it hurts because of my broken arm. Oh my goodness, what happened? Does it hurt? I got a little too into playing football with my brother yesterday. And yeah, it really does hurt. However much you think it hurts, it hurts just a little bit more. But hey, wanna sign my cast? Of course. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. That hurts too? Everything hurts. This stinks. Well, why don't you think of something else for a while? What's this? I have to put together a presentation on fractions for school. Perfect. Working on school projects always helps me take my mind off of things. Yeah, right. Every time I divide them, it's gonna hurt so bad. I'm pretty sure that's not how fractions work. It might as well be. I don't want to do this. You need someone who can understand your suffering. What do you mean? I always feel better when I'm able to talk to someone who knows what I'm going through. I think we all do. Remember that one time when Alyssa was going through a tough time? I know you probably want to be alone, but I wanted to say something. It might sound weird coming from a kid, but I know how you feel. Really? My parents got a divorce when I was six years old. I'm so sorry, Harper. Yeah, I don't remember everything that happened. They fought a lot, and I was angry at them because they couldn't stop yelling and love each other. I'm angry at my parents too. And it took a while to get over, but I did. And I can still see the ways that God used that story for His glory. He taught me a lot about forgiveness. It's tough. It is. But it won't always be this way. And you're not alone. <laughs> Thanks for saying something, Harper. That's right. Because you had gone through the same thing as Alyssa, that helped her. Yep, you've got it. I mean, that's nice and all, but unless you've had a broken arm, I'm not sure how that helps me. Suffering helps us understand the pain that other people feel, even if our suffering is different than theirs. And while I might not know exactly what you're going through, Jesus does. Hold up, now I'm confused. I think the pain in my arm is breaking my brain. Watch this. In this Bible story, two of Jesus' disciples are suffering too. Take a look. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, two of his disciples were walking to a village called Emmaus. Along the way, they met a traveler. The traveler noticed the disciples looked sad, so he asked them what was wrong. They told the traveler about how their friend, Jesus, had been killed just a few days earlier. And now, some people had told them that Jesus' body was missing, and that angels had said that Jesus was alive. The two disciples didn't know what to do. They had lost all hope after Jesus' death and couldn't believe that he had come back to life. The traveler listened to their painful story. Then he shared a story with them. He explained everything the Old Testament of the Bible said about Jesus. His pain and death weren't a surprise. Moses and the prophets had all written that Jesus would suffer and then enter God's glory. As the traveler spoke, the disciples felt something strange. The more they listened, 
the more their hearts burned within them. Eventually, the three men reached a village. The disciples asked the traveler to stay with them for the evening, so he went in with them. When they sat down at the table to eat, the traveler took some bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to the two disciples. In that moment, the disciples' eyes were opened. The traveler was Jesus. He had been with them all along. As soon as they recognized him, he disappeared from their sight. The disciples were amazed. Jesus was alive. Their sadness was gone, and they had hope. They had to tell everyone the good news. Jesus met the disciples where they were. He understood their suffering because he suffered too. He listened to them, walked with them, and helped them have hope again. No matter what hard times we're going through, we can trust that Jesus is with us too. He listens to our prayers, walks alongside us, and speaks love and truth to us. By listening to Him, He'll heal us and give us back hope and joy. I can't believe the disciples had no idea they were speaking to Jesus. I know, but after Jesus died on the cross, the disciples had lost all hope. All they could think about was their suffering. But Jesus still listened to them, even though He had suffered more than them. That's right. And when the disciples finally realized Jesus was alive, they had hope again. Exactly. No matter what you've gone through, Jesus knows what it's like to suffer. He's walking with you and listening to you. He can help you find hope. Even with a broken arm. Yep. And I might not have a broken arm, but I've had to do school assignments before. I can relate to that. I'll help. Really? Yeah. And I think we can make the best presentation your class has ever seen. Why are there so many fractions? Ow! <laughs> Gotta stop using this arm. I know this is hard, but remember, you can find joy even when you're suffering. Okay, I get how I can have hope when I'm suffering, but joy when I'm in this much pain? I think the book of Hebrews has something to say about it. Do you want to say a verse with me? Uh, sure. It goes like this. Hebrews 12, 2. Hebrews 12, 2. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Jesus knew he would suffer on the cross, but that didn't make him run away or hide. He knew that if he suffered, he would get to have a forever friendship with us. And when we suffer, we can find joy in our forever friendship with Jesus too. So I should follow Jesus' example and keep looking for joy, even when the suffering doesn't stop. Especially when the suffering doesn't stop. Jesus took on suffering and shame for us because He knew of the joy and good that was on the other side. That's amazing, but what does that look like? Well, do you remember the dance-a-thon we had a while back? Who knew you had such great DJ skills, Maurice? I'm teching tools by day and checking fools by night. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Oh, it looks like we're about to lose another contestant. What's going on over there, Rodney? It appears a leg cramp is about to take out contestant 81. Come on, Luke. Keep dancing, keep dancing. Worship is all the time, no matter what happens. He's right. We should worship God all the time, even when things go wrong. Ooh, and contestant 81 is down for the count. We're down to our final two contestants. Any last words? God is good all the time, even if a cramp takes you out of a dance-a-thon. We should have another dance-a-thon sometime soon. It was a lot of fun. But the important thing is that Luke was able to worship God even though he was in pain. I guess if he could worship God with that bad of a leg cramp, I can finish the school project with a broken arm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Alrighty, once I place this piece of paper on the poster board, my project will be officially complete. We did do a pretty good job if I do say so myself. Now put it on. Ow, ow. There, finished. Yay. Arm still bugging you? 
Yeah, it still hurts, but I was not about to let that stop me. Wait, that reminds me of that one time. Remember a few Christmases ago when we were supposed to go to that party? I know we're not supposed to brag, but we all look like a million bucks. I'm so excited. Not only do we have tickets to the fanciest winter ball, we're the guests of honor. And I prepared a speech for when we get our community award. Even though I slipped on some ice and hurt my arm, that won't stop me from dancing the night away in my new dancing shoes. I had completely forgotten that Alyssa had a broken arm. She didn't complain about it at all. She wasn't gonna let her broken arm keep her from having a fun Christmas. And I'm proud of you for staying joyful, even when you're suffering. You helped me see something important today. Jesus is there to help you through. He's been through some hard times too. Jesus is there to help you through. He's been through some hard times too. I like it, that's a perfect point. I never would have finished this project without you. Thank you, Harper. Of course, Dot. Now I just need to get this out of here. You want help? No. This, I got. Ow. I'm okay. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Here we go. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I wanted to share a great verse with you. It goes like this. Hebrews 12, 2. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. When we suffer or feel sorry for ourselves, Jesus can give us hope. He cares for us, serves us, and shows us God's love. After Jesus died on the cross, the disciples were sad and had lost hope. But Jesus went to them and listened to their painful story. He could relate to their suffering because he has suffered too. And when Jesus showed them who he was, their sadness disappeared and their hope returned. Dot felt sorry for herself today. She was really suffering. She even almost gave up on her school project. But she learned that Jesus was with her and understood what she was feeling. If we let him, Jesus will bring us hope and joy, no matter what we're going through. So how can you find hope while you're suffering? You can pray, read your Bible, talk to others about how you're feeling, and focus on Jesus. Don't forget, Jesus is there to help you through. He's been through some hard times too. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I should have told Dot to take a pizza to her class for her presentation. It's my go-to way of remembering fractions. You can eat half of a pizza, a quarter of a pizza, or if you want to get really crazy, three-eighths of a pizza. And then, once you're done, you get to eat the pizza. And what's better than that? Jesus suffered and died on the cross because He wanted to have a forever friendship with you. If you've never decided to follow Jesus with your life and want to make that choice, you can do that today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Let's celebrate all of those who made that choice to follow Jesus today. And if that's you, you're not supposed to walk that path alone. You can talk to a trusted adult today and share your salvation with them. All right, we're gonna talk about our Bible verse. Hebrews 12, two. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Jesus took on the biggest challenge of all because he knew that it would take our sin away and give us the chance to be friends with God. What Jesus did was serious and it was wonderful. Now we're gonna play a game that's, well, it's a little less serious. So you're gonna do some challenges. I'm gonna throw them up on the screen. You're gonna have 60 seconds. And while you do those challenges, your family is going to be encouraging you. So whenever you're ready to take on the challenge, just pause the video and I'll be waiting here for you when you're finished. That was fun, 
wasn't it? Encouraging words sure are helpful when you're doing something that's really hard and even painful. That's how suffering is. When someone listens to you, encourages you, and prays for you, it's healing and it's helpful. And Jesus is always there to do that for you. You can learn more about Jesus and how he suffered for you and how he encourages you in the Bible. There's a great Bible plan that's all about that called Do You Know Who Jesus Is? Just look for it in the YouVersion Bible app. All right, we've got some great questions for your family to discuss. So stay tuned for the cues and I will see you guys later. 